The options available to consumers who seek oral health care tools may be very confusing due to the many options available. The objective of this video is to educate in regards to the uses of some of the more common instruments available on the market. Before we begin exploring the various types of oral health care instruments, we would like to take the opportunity to impress upon the viewer that this video is purely for educational purposes and does not endorse any specific product brands. To begin our discussion about oral health care instruments, we will begin with interdental aids. There are generally two types of floss, multifilament floss such as nylon or silk, and monofilament floss such as plastic, rubber, PTFE, Oral-B Glide, and Listerine Reach. Many brands use the term Glide in their floss name, and this indicates monofilament floss. Both types have multiple flavors such as vanilla, cinnamon, and mint. They also come in different thicknesses. Expanding floss. When this floss comes into contact with moisture such as saliva and or friction, it expands and reaches the plaque and debris in between teeth. This floss is sometimes difficult to get in between contacts, but ensures the plaque is being taken out of the pocket and not just moved around. This floss is a good selection for people with larger spaces in between their teeth. Fine floss. This floss is thinner and useful for getting in between tight contacts. Monofilament floss. Works well with tight contacts. This floss may be good for people who are just beginning to floss as there may be higher compliance and it is more comfortable, flavored, and aesthetically appealing. Dental tape. Similar to glide monofilament flosses. Larger to fit in between large interproximal spaces. To achieve proper flossing technique, you should take an arm's length of floss, wrap it around your middle fingers, a little on one side and the rest on the other side, wiggle it through the teeth in a seesaw motion, and hug the tooth in a C-shaped fashion for both sides of adjacent teeth. Floss Handle A new portion of floss is wound around the device upon each usage. Good for patients who have arthritis or other conditions affecting dexterity. The handle is plastic and meant for long-term usage. The downfall of floss handles is that the floss cannot be adapted to the tooth anatomy, and if the floss is not wound tight enough, it may be difficult to get through the contact. Floss Picks Disposable version of a floss handle. It already comes with the floss attached to it and has a shorter portion to hold on to. Water Floss Uses high pressure water to blast plaque out of the interproximal spaces. Aim towards the gums. Useful for blasting out food particles around hard to reach areas and around braces, crowns, implants, and sensitive gums. Super floss. Has both a waxed and spongy portion. There's a stiff end which acts as a floss threader and inserts in between the teeth instead of being pulled down from above the contact. This is ideal for fixed appliances such as braces, bridges, and lingual wires. Floss Threaders Similar to Super Floss, except that it resembles a plastic sewing needle and whatever type of floss you prefer is threaded through. Proxibrush A small bristle disposable brush meant for large interproximal spaces to remove plaque. Good for patients with diastemas, recession, or blunted papillae. Proxy brushes with longer handles. The same as above, but may be beneficial for patients who have arthritis or other conditions that make grasping small objects difficult. This may also be more useful for accessing hard to reach areas such as the maxillary molars or upper teeth. Soft picks. A smaller version of a proxy brush. Much like the proxy brush, this is used interdentally. The bristles are much shorter and this may be better, a better option for patients who do not have quite as large spaces in between their teeth. When in the market for a new toothbrush, it is important to be aware of the firmness of the toothbrush bristles. It is recommended to use a soft or extra soft toothbrush over a medium or hard toothbrush, as this will cause less tissue trauma to the gums when brushing. The BAS method is proven to be very beneficial and is one of the most commonly recommended methods for brushing your teeth. Aim the bristles of the brush at a 45 degree angle towards the gums. Brush gently back and forth and continue to move on to the next teeth. Remember to brush all surfaces of the teeth. A good option for patients with limited dexterity may be an electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrushes are less technique sensitive as many manual toothbrushes and generally utilizes two methods of brushing. 
oscillation, or side-to-side -side motion. And tough brushes can be used to reach those hard-to-reach places such as the back of molars or on the inside of the anterior teeth. Although you can use a regular toothbrush to brush your tongue, tongue brushes are great tools to remove plaque from the tongue. Unlike a toothbrush, there are two sides to a tongue brush, a soft side and a rough scraping side. Place the bristle side at the base of the tongue and brush forward. Then flip the tongue brush to the scraper side and brush forward and rinse. Denture brushes. These two-sided brushes work effectively to clean complete or partial dentures. Mild dish detergent can be used to clean dentures while rubbing off plaque buildup. Remember to be careful not to squeeze the denture too hard and to clean over a towel lined sink full of water to avoid any damage from squeezing too hard or dropping the dentures. Thank you for watching our video. We hope it has been informative to you and has helped you understand many of the oral healthcare instruments and techniques used to have good oral hygiene.